boys and girls. My name is Strawberry Magic. You ask why? Well, that's easy. Magic because I was born in Magic Land. And Strawberry, well, I really don't know why. Not everyone has a name that fits him. You're probably asking what I'm doing here. Well, in Magic Land, where all the magic in the world is made, we work very hard. Making magic is not at all a simple task. You know that. And so, from time to time, when I get tired, I sneak out through the secret tunnel and come here for a rest. What can I do? I tire so easily. Strawberry magic. And while Lazy Strawberry fell into a deep sleep under the tree, a group of children sat in their classroom working on their end-of-the-year school party. And now, I'll assign you your tasks. Bill, you'll be the clown. Oh, boy! Dan, you'll be the dancer. That's great! Bob, you'll sing. I just love to sing. Ronnie, you'll be a magician. A magician? But... But... Ronnie was the only one who was disappointed with the part he got. How could he do a magician's show when he did not know any magic? Ronnie was so sad. <laughs> who's that making me wet? Oh, who's that talking here? Hey, who are you? A strawberry? A talking strawberry? You bet I talk. Why are you making me wet? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you wet, but I'm very sad, and the tears just fall by themselves. What's the connection between your being sad and the raindrops falling out of your eyes? When children are sad, tears fall from their eyes. And I'm sad because I have to put on a magician's show at the class party, and I don't know even one magic trick. But who are you? I'm Strawberry Magic. I'm from Magic Land. But everybody works hard there, and I escape to here through my secret tunnel so that I can rest. You're from Magic Land? Is there such a land? I want to go there and learn some magic myself. No, no, you can't go there, because you don't look like the citizens of Magic Land. But wait a minute. Maybe I can turn you into an exact copy of me, and then no one will notice that you're foreign. That's a spectacular idea! I'm ready! Magic, magic, one, two, three! Make this creature same as me! I use my magic to make him an exact copy of me! And now he looks like a strawberry! Oh well, I suppose I really do look like a strawberry! Remember, Ronnie, in Magic Land, everyone is a hard-working magician. You will probably have to work, too. Oh, I almost forgot! Take a suitcase with you. This is where you'll put the items you'll collect. And if you have any problems, you can call on me for help. Remember, in order to make magic, you will have to collect three items. If you want to return home, Close the suitcase by clicking on the top part of the screen. In the meantime, I'll rest here. Good luck! Shh! Every 
everyone's asleep now. Good day, sir. How can I help you? Phew! They still haven't discovered who let the air out of the tires on their police bikes. Really, Mr. Policeman? Are you prepared to help me? Of course. It's a policeman's job to help everyone who asks for our help. Look, while I can't say that you're an outstanding magician, you're not like those in there. Have you lost something, Strawberry? Uh, well, uh, actually, I did. That is, I didn't really lose the magic, but I'm looking for it. You've always been a funny one. How could you have lost the magic, silly? How can you lose something you don't have? That's true, but I am looking for the magic. I can only get my wish through this magic. Very good. At least you're on the right track. You know you need the magic to have all your wishes come true. Not like the prisoners there inside who don't think you need magic in order to get your wishes. They steal wishes that have come true from other magicians. They're locked up in those cells to make sure they don't harm anyone else. But they're causing me to suffer. I have to guard them, and I'm pretty tired of it. I'd really like to get out for a break. Could you guard them for me for a little while? Why don't you help the poor fellow a little and let him go out for a short break? help you guard them. Strawberry, please meet Junior Cop, the student policeman. He's new here and isn't familiar with his job yet. Pleased to meet you, Junior Cop. I've come to help you guard. Look, Strawberry, there is a prisoner in each cell. Although they are being punished, we don't want them to be sad, so we allow them to meet visitors. Whenever a yellow light goes on over a cell, this means that visitors have arrived and you have to open the cell door. Send Junior Cop there and press the button to open the door. If you don't open the cell door, a red light will go on, and a short time later it will start blinking. If by then you don't open the door, the prisoner will burst out crying and refuse to come out. When the visit is over, a red light goes on over the door of the visitor's room and you must quickly send Junior Cop. If you do not do this quickly, the prisoners will escape and disappear as fast as you can bat an eye. You can look at a clock to see how much more time you have left until the end of the mission. Problems. None of the prisoners cried or escaped. I'll go back to the desk. Strawberry, very good. You have been a very good policeman. Want to see the magic? Here, the magicless Strawberry turns into a brave policeman. I now appoint you a policeman in Magicland, and here are your missions. 1. The string of pearls that belongs to Abretta, the magician's daughter, has been found. Take it back to her. Two. Abra the Magician's hat has been stolen. We have an identical picture of the thief. Go to the school for beginner magicians and try to find him using this identical picture. Goodbye and good luck. 
honest citizen. Ronnie, no! Don't agree to being a policeman! When you leave Magic Land, everyone will think that I'm you. And I'll have to work hard like that poor policeman. Strawberry, I have no choice. I must go on looking for the magician's school. That's exactly where I have to go. String of pearls. He isn't interested in this string of pearls. String of pearls. The suspect is not here. I will open the identical picture in the magician's school. This vegetable vendor is very grumpy. Watch out! I've already learned that no one is angry without a reason. What have you done to the vegetable vendor? There are two kinds of fruits and vegetables in Magic Land. One kind is for eating and the other kind is for magic. The fruit for eating is grown in the natural way, but the magic fruit and vegetables grow in Abra, the great magician's garden. And they are alive and intelligent creatures, just like me. It's unbelievable. Abra breathes life into fruits and vegetables. That's right. But what did you do to the vegetable vendor? I dressed up as a food vegetable. I scared the basket heads a little, so the vendor had to stop selling strawberries. You? It's you again? How dare you come near my stand? But I have a surprise in store for you today and every day. I no longer have strawberries on my stand where you can hide and frighten the customers. Hey, Mr. Vegetable Vendor, I just brought a new shipment of fresh fruits and vegetables. Come here and get them. All you have to do is fill the customer's orders and give them exactly what they ask for. Hey, I know his customers, the basket heads. After you give them what they want, you'd better give them a push. Otherwise, they won't move. Please give me cucumbers. How many? Five. Do you want to keep the magic you have learned until now? to come back here. Great! The vendor hasn't come back yet. I'll go back and sell some vegetables and no one will notice that I disappeared before. Please give me cucumbers. How many? Seven. There you are. Now 
now you can go. Thank you very much. I'm going. Please give me heads of lettuce. How many? Seven. Watermelons. Heads of lettuce. Heads of garlic. Heads of lettuce. There you are. Now you can go. Thank you very much. I'm going. Please give me cucumbers. How many? Five. There you are. Now you can go. No, Strawberry, that's not what I asked for. I knew strawberries couldn't sell vegetables. Please give me cucumbers. How many? Five. Cucumbers. There you are. Now you can go. Thank you very much. I'm going. Strawberry, I see you've made some very nice sales. I must have made a lot of money today. What? Where's the money? Do you mean to tell me that you sold the vegetables and didn't ask for money? I'm sorry, sir. You said to give the basket heads exactly what they asked for. And that's exactly what I did. They came up every time and said, give me... So I gave them. Now you listen to me, you shrimp. Even when I begin to believe that strawberries can change, the sad truth blows up in my face. What a fool I was to depend on a strawberry. I won't talk to the strawberries again until you give me back the money. Well, do you have money for me? He won't let you take anything after the closing down, sir, we arranged for him. I think this is the funniest thing in the world. But seriously, even I'm beginning to like you. It's a good idea for you to give him back the money. and give it back to the vendor.
I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a brother and a brother loves me. Oh dear, he's in love with her too. I'm as happy as happy can be. I love a brother and a brother loves me. Oh dear, he's in love with her too. This is the place I hate most of all. They work very hard here. Did you know that? Everyone who didn't want to learn the secret of the magic works here. But Strawberry, I know that I must look for the magic. I'll do anything, even hard work, if I have to. Strawberry, I knew you'd get here sooner or later. After all, all those who didn't want to learn the secret of the magic ended up here and had to do very hard work. I came here for exactly the opposite reason. I want to find the magic, and I'm ready to work. Come into the construction area and wait for instructions. One, two, nine, ten, twenty. That's it. If you keep this up and refuse to work, you won't get very far. Strawberry, go back into the construction area and see to it that the wall is painted properly. Any wall that is only partly painted, or is not properly painted, is washed clean, and you have to start all over again. What an interesting place! I wonder what kind of work they do here. Your attention, please. Box boys, get ready to paint and form a line. Box boys, you must jump into the pool of paint and fill up with the right color. After that, march to the wall and splash the paint on the bricks. Strawberry, you will have to change the color in the pool so that the box boy that will jump into it will be filled with the right color and splash it in the right order. Box boys, jump! We haven't painted the wall properly. I'll come back here later. Strawberry, go back into the construction area and see to it that the wall is painted properly. Any wall that is only partly painted, or is not properly painted, is washed clean and you have to start all over again. I'll go and continue painting the wall. I must finish painting the wall. I can't lie down on the job. Mr. Foreman, call the box boys. Box boys, jump!
Avery, do you think that this wall looks like it's painted properly? Great! All the rows of bricks are painted the right colours. Strawberry, you managed the wall painting job very well. The painting crew was happy to work with you. I must say, you have made some real progress. Here is a barrel of nectar from the finest flowers. It's yours. This is your pay for your work today. Thank you, Mr. Foreman, and goodbye. Where does it lead? And what are you doing here? Are you hiding too because you don't want to work? Really, Strawberry? Not everyone is like you. Have you forgotten? Behind this door, there is a deep, dark pit. Beyond that pit lives the beautiful Firefly Fairy. Did you know that the Firefly Fairy can show you the magic within the magic? Well, I transport everyone who wishes to reach her. If you want to fly on my back to the Firefly Fairy, you must bring me a barrel of juicy nectar of flowers. I'm so hungry. A barrel of... Here is the barrel of nectar. Have some, and then we'll fly over the deep, dark pit. The barrel of nectar is closed with a lid. I can't get to the nectar. String of pearls. Open the barrel with that. The suspect is not here. I will open the identikit picture in the magician's school. The door will open up if you insert the magic disc in here. It looks like I can't get past the pit. How awful! Hey, where are you going? You can't go any further. This is the school for magicians, and only people who have magic wands are allowed in. If you have a wand, show me. If not, don't bother me. That's a pity. I could learn some magic at this school. I'll try and get a wand. You won't be able to enter the school for magicians without the guard's permission. That's a pity. I could learn some magic at this school. I'll try and get a wand. is not here. I will open the identical picture in the magician's school. String of pearls. Packages and boxes. 
Scurry, 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 I deliver in a hurry. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Strawberry, strawberry, you really are something else. You're so innocent all of a sudden. Hello, sir, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Have you forgotten that my last delivery is being held up on account of you? You rummaged around in all the packages. So please, go somewhere else. If you show up here again, I'll put you in a box and I'll send you to the farthest place I know. The farthest place he knows of is that warehouse over there. All day long, all he does is work. Strawberry, honestly, be a little more serious. You promised that if I came here, you would help me discover the secret of the magic. In the meantime, all I do is work instead of you, and you sit there laughing at everybody. I'm not laughing. I just don't understand. I've always been nice to everyone, and I always wanted to play, and yet I was kicked out of everywhere. And you, you've just arrived, and everybody loves you. That's right. It's because I help everyone, not like you. Mr. Potter, sir, I really did misbehave yesterday, but today I've come to help. To help? What happened today that made you decide that? I decided to look for the magic, and I'm ready to do anything to find it. Good. Now you're talking like a resident of Magic Land. So, listen very carefully. The cost of shipping these packages is very high. So we have to stuff as many of them into crates as we can without leaving any empty spaces. The packages coming off the conveyor belt are of different sizes, so it is possible to fit every box into an empty space until the crate is completely full. You can start now. These packages have been sorted and are ready to be shipped later on. Don't touch them. for shipment come out. Phew! That's it! There! Phew! That's it! Phew! That's it! Phew! That's it! Oh! This is heavy! Very good. The crate is full and ready for shipment. I see you've decided to become a real magician, Strawberry. Here, take this coin and buy something tasty for yourself. You really earned it. String of pearls.
funny house is the artist's home. He copies pictures all day long. Strawberry? This artist doesn't look very busy at all. That's what you think, Ronnie. This whole town looks like it's asleep, but you'll soon see that it's just the opposite. Try talking to Clovey. Hello, Mr. Clovey. Hello, Strawberry. Walking around doing nothing as usual, eh? Oh, no, sir. What are you painting? Two days from now, we are going to open an exhibition of the paintings of the greatest artists in the world. There's one picture that I could not get for the exhibition, so I have to make an exact copy of it. I've already drawn it, but my eyes are tired and I am not sure that the copy is exactly like the original. I need someone to help me look and see if I've forgotten some detail or other. Maybe I can help you. You? I find that hard to believe. Since when do you want to do anything? You're so lazy, you're useless. Being a waiter is hard work. I don't have the strength for that now. I am prepared to help, Mr. Clovey. at the pictures in front of you. The frame picture is the original. The one on the easel is the copy. Do you see any details in the original that don't appear in the copy? Yes, there are differences. I'll show them to you. I'm so happy that you helped me with this picture, because it might have been very embarrassing if someone discovered that my copy was not perfect. Now you're invited into my secret library. You already know that not everyone is allowed in. There are lots of books in the library. I'm looking for the book with the great secret. Maybe, if I find it, I'll be able to do some magic. Wow! This artist really hides a lot of books here. I have always asked to be allowed to come in here and look at Mr. Clovey's books. And he never let me do it. You're really lucky to be in there. If I want to find the secret book, I need to get the library code. The art of copying pictures. The art of copying pictures. The art of copying pictures. If I want to find the secret book, I need to get the library code. Thank you very much, sir. You have a very impressive collection of books, and I'm glad to be among the fortunate people who have visited your library. Bye, sir. Thank you very much. Oh dear, this is an order for red painted furniture. All the pieces must be painted in red and I've run out of paint. Excuse me, Mr. Carpenter, sir. 
Don't bother me. I'm prepared to stop working and talk only to someone who will bring me red paint for the furniture. Ronnie, get out of here! The noise of the jigsaw is bursting my eardrums! If you have red paint, give it to him. If not, leave here. and the breeder bird is guarding the garden. I'm sorry, I can't come over and open the gate for you. I have to mind the eggs until they hatch in pairs. Hmm, the little sweetheart sleeping so peacefully inside the eggs. They'll soon become adorable little chicks. Do not disturb! Quiet, please! Look, Strawberry. Inside my eggs, little chicks are growing. Abra asked for a pair in each color. I really tried hard to plan things so that there will be two of each color. I tried to peek inside the eggs, but Shelly, who guards the eggs, won't let me disturb them. That's right. She always comes looking and disturbs them. The chicks need their rest. She opens the egg and immediately forgets the chick's color. Strawberry, I really do want to know if every chick has a partner. When you do find a pair, their shells will get colored in the same color. That way I won't be worried. You're wonderful! I have exactly one pair of every kind. Now I'm ready to open the gate. Wait! I'll be right there to open the gate.
Excuse me, excuse me, Strawberry, just a moment. Are you going into the garden by any chance? Yes. Hey, who are you? I finally met someone among all these strange creatures who talk like one thing and look like something else who's a magician. A real magician. Creatures who look like one thing and talk like something else? Pardon me for asking, but you don't look exactly like you sound. I know. I look so funny only because I had to find the magic. What's so funny about looking like me? You look like that because you are looking for the magic? I'll let you in on a secret. You and your friends in this weird place really do need first-rate magic so as not to look the way you look. You're a magician, aren't you? That's right. I'm a magician. That's my profession. I learned hundreds of tricks and illusions, and when I appear on the stage with my rabbit, everyone thinks that everything is real. But between you and me, everything is an illusion. You know, the hand is quicker than the eye, but I'm telling this only to you, because you belong to this world, and you'll never get to my world, and you won't be able to reveal this secret to my audiences. You mean you don't have any real magic at all? That's right. It's all illusions. Look, time is passing quickly, and I have to appear in the circus in a little while. My rabbit decided that he doesn't want to appear with me anymore, and be part of my act with its false magic tricks. He ran away to this place, he says that the real magic is only here. I have to find him and get him out of this weird place. If I see a rabbit, I'll catch it and bring it back to you. Strawberry, don't forget. If you see my rabbit, tell him to come back to me. If I see a rabbit, I'll catch it and bring it back to you. Ronnie, this is the rabbit's restaurant. The rabbits come here to eat carrots. If you wait here, you might be able to catch the rabbit. The magician's rabbit is very fussy about what he eats. He's used to eating well and only eats in five-star restaurants. If you want him to come here, you must provide the best service to your rabbit customers. When a rabbit comes in, you must serve him his carrots immediately. That way your restaurant will be awarded more stars and the magician's rabbit will appear. When he gets here, serve him some carrots and grab him. Remember, you can take only up to three carrots on your tray each time. Thank you very much. looking for you. He misses you. Where's the magician? I miss him too, and I want to go home. Come along, little rabbit. We'll go to the magician. 
Strawberry, don't forget, if you see my rabbit, tell him to come back to me. Rabbit! Strawberry, I'm so grateful to you for finding my rabbit. Listen, I have to ask another small favor. While I was looking for my rabbit, I scattered lots of candy along the paths. I wanted the rabbit to find them and understand that I was looking for him. But unfortunately, someone gobbled them all up. He got stiff from eating so much. So please, take this medicine powder and sprinkle it on him so that he can move again. Oh, here you are. I'm so happy. I'll never run away again. Let's go home. are coming out of there. What a wonderful smell. Look at how many cakes are made here. Hello, Strawberry. Hungry, eh? Poor little rascal. When will you understand that you have to help out a little? You simply can't just walk around snatching things from here and there. You'd really like some cake, wouldn't you? Well, you give me some help and I'll give you a very good cake. Do what he asks. His cakes are delicious! I must prepare a cake that was ordered especially for the chick pears. They will break out of the eggs today. Uh, this is their first birthday. I must prepare a cake in their honor, exactly according to the frame drawing. Can you help me bring the layers of cake having the right shape and color, just like in the drawing? That's not what I have to give now. Look for the right layer. I have to look for the right layer. Strawberry, please bring me layers of cake exactly according to the drawing and put them on the table. I have to look for the right layer. Look for the right layer. Look at the top layer. The layer is the right color, but it is too big. I have to look for the right layer. Strawberry. I thought you wanted some cake. Strawberry, quick, finish putting the cake together. This is the drawing of the cake that was ordered. for the right layer. That's not what I have to give now. I have to look for the right layer. I have to look for the right layer. String of pearls. That's not what I have to give now. I have to look for the right layer. Do you want to keep the magic you have learned until now? I do! I want to come back here! Strawberry, quick! 
Finish putting the cake together. I have to look for the right layer. Do you want to keep the magic you have learnt until now? No, I don't. I want to come back here. Strawberry, quick, finish putting the cake together. Do you want to keep the magic you have learnt until now? Yes, I do. want to come back here. Strawberry, quick, finish putting the cake together. I don't need this part of the cake. I don't need this part of the cake. I don't need this part of the cake. Very good, Strawberry. This is exactly the cake that was ordered. Go into the decoration room and decorate them exactly according to the drawing. When you're finished, you'll get some cake. What do I have to do here? Strawberry, you have to decorate the cake. There's an example inside the white frame. You must decorate the cake exactly according to the picture. The decorations are inside the boxes. I'm very pleased that you're helping me. I still have lots of work to do. I think I've decorated the cake exactly according to the picture. I'll show it to the baker. We've managed to make a wonderful cake for the chick pears. I can't wait for them to break out of their shells. Here, take the cake I promised you. Enjoy every bite. Here is Gobblegoodies. He gobbled too much candy and that's why he can't move. I have to sprinkle him with the powder Rabbit Owner the Magician gave me. Medicine powder! I ate 
ache all over. I must have been standing like that for years. Hey, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. A cake here. This cake is really great. I prepared it myself. <coughs> Hmm, tasty, very tasty. Oops, the dice cube got loose. Ronnie, the dice cube! I've been looking for it for a long time. It's special because it can open places that have been closed by magic. Unbelievable! It's been inside Gobblegoody's tummy all along. You eat everything that moves, stands still or lies down. Everything! Magic Dice Cube What did you do to the vegetable vendor? Lonnie, these two funny guys know the magic of how to make the best sugar coating in the world. The recipe is a very carefully guarded secret, and that's why it was divided up between the two of them. Each of them knows half the things needed to make the sugar coating. If you give them a piece of fruit, they'll sugar coat it for you with their own special magic coating. There is no point in this. You will never be able to create this coating without the help of the twins. Ronnie, there is no point in this. You will never be able to create this coating without the help of the twins. String of pearls. A coin. Magic dice cube. Sorry. I haven't got any fruit to sugarcoat. Bye! without permission from Abra. What a shame. I was born here. This is the home of the one and only Arba, the great magician. He knows all there is to know about magic, and no one can match him in making magic. Everyone in Magic Land is afraid of him, and no one would dare go against his commands. Strawberry, welcome to the Forest of Workers. Where are you headed? Forest of Workers? What does that mean? What do they do here? You do ask silly questions, Ronnie. What do they do here? They work like horses. That's what they do here. Strawberry, don't look so innocent. You know very well what we do here. The problem is that you never like to come here and help us. 
Are you planning to bother us today, too? No, I don't intend bothering you at all. I'm searching for the magic. It's amazing. I really need a lot of help, and here it is, from the most unexpected direction. I have to sow a hundred pepper worker seeds, but I can't find the house where the seeds are. I'll help you. Which house are you looking for? I'm looking for the blue house, which is above the yellow flower. No, no, that's not the house. Great, this is the house. Now I'll be able to grow pepper workers from the seeds. Thank you, Strawberry. I'm really happy that you've changed. I'm busy. Don't bother me. Good morning, Strawberry. You got up early. Still trying to get out of doing any work, huh? Get out of work? Oh, no! What made you think that? Just the opposite. I'm interested in working today. I've already worked for the Pepper, and he even sends you his regards. Do you need any help? Unbelievable. I wondered what happened to the Strawberries. Well, if you're such a good workforce, it might not be a bad idea to grow more out of you. Here, I received an order for a hundred corn workers for next month. And I don't have any more corn force workers. I have to sow a hundred corn workers seeds which are in one of those houses, but I don't know which one. Someone has mixed up the houses. I found a strange note here and I don't know who left it. It's written in such a vague way. I'll help you. Which house are you looking for? I'm looking for the house that is behind the house that is under the blue house. The corn asks easy questions that have very hard answers. Wonderful! That's the house! Now I can sow the corn seeds. Goodbye, and give my warmest regards to Mr. Cucumber. I know that you have a lot of work, and I don't want to disturb you, but I'm looking for the magic. Can you help me? Of course I can help you. Do you know the magic that will help me find the house that I'm looking for? I have to sow cucumber worker seeds right away, but I can't find them. Show me the house where the seeds are hidden. Okay, I'll do it. I'm looking for the purple house above the rock. Wonderful! You have found my seeds. Real magic. I'm rushing off to work. Give my regards to Ms. Red Pepper. So long! I don't understand. Everyone I ask about the magic asks me to help him. Even when I do help, I don't get an answer from them. I hope you're right, Strawberry, and that I can find some magic here to show at the party. Mrs. Red Pepper? You, Strawberry. How did you get here? You know that you are very near to the clearing in the forest, and only those who are good at magic are allowed in this part of the forest. Tell me, you naughty boy, did you find some secret detour around Harry the Corn and Mr. Green the Cucumber? No, not at all. I took the main road and helped each of them. I'm really surprised. What happened, Strawberry, that you decided to help? Have you decided to become a magician? Yes, I've been looking for the magic all day. Maybe you can help me. Of course I can. Here, Magic Land needs a large workforce every day. My friends, Cucumber, Pepper and Corn, are already busy with preparations. They also sow worker seeds. I have the job of preparing a workforce for emergencies. Abra put the seeds in one of the houses, and according to his description, 
description. I'm having trouble finding the right one. Strawberry, come on, wake up. Are you sure I can find some magic in this place? Oh, I'm sure I told you. Keep on looking. You have no choice. If someone asks for your help, you have to help them. And that's that. All right, Mrs. Red Pepper. Describe the house you are looking for. I'm looking for the red house above the red flower. Great! It's real magic, Strawberry. I'm rushing off to sow my seeds. Bye! Give my regards to eggplants. Don't forget now. You see, Strawberry? Mrs. Red Pepper is just like all the rest. She only wants me to help her and didn't give me even a clue as to where to find the magic. Listen to me, Ronnie. Aubergine lives in a very important part of the forest. It's the most carefully guarded place before the clearing in the forest. His magic is very special. Hey, you. Don't bother me again today. You're the last one I want to see here. Go away. What did you do to Aubergine that he's so angry at you and is chasing me away? Well, uh, you see, uh, yesterday I was very hungry and I thought all day about the wonderful apples that Aubergine grows. I asked him for one, but of course Aubergine does not give apples to anyone who doesn't help him. So, I offered to help him pick the apples. And I really did pick them, but, uh, after they were already in my bag, I really didn't feel like giving them to Aubergine. That's why he's mad at me. You know what, Strawberry? I'm getting sick and tired of this. Wherever I go, as soon as I get there, I have to suffer because of the mischief you have gotten yourself into. Nobody likes me here, and it's all your fault. You wanted to come here, so don't complain. Go back to Mr. Aubergine. He really isn't as bad as he looks. Uh, Mr. Aubergine, I'm really sorry for the trouble I caused you yesterday. But between you and me, your apples are the best I've ever tasted. Today, I'm really serious about helping you. I'm looking for the magic. Can you help me? All right, all right. But today, I won't be as stupid as yesterday. Today, you won't leave here until you do get the magic right. I'm ready. Tell me what I have to do. I'm looking for the blue house, which has a blue house above it and a blue house in front of it. I'm looking for the blue house, which has a blue house above it and a blue house in front of it. That's marvelous, Strawberry. I'm sure that the apples you ate from my tree had a wonderful effect on you. If you're going to the clearing in the forest, give my regards to the guard. Goodbye. For sale. A bicycle in good condition. A service cart. Huh? Excuse me? Sir? Uh, just a minute. Don't disturb me. For sale. An electric range. A pair of chairs. Excuse me, sir? Strawberry, I'm tired of your pranks. This time, I won't give in. This time, you have to reveal to me how you managed to sneak into the forest every time without anyone's noticing you. This is the most carefully guarded place in Magic Land, and you're not allowed to run around here. Why? What are you guarding here? All I see here are lots and lots of furrows, nothing else. According to legend, the Great Book of Magic is buried here, where it was hidden hundreds of years ago. Nobody knows for certain where it was buried, because the enchanted compass rose, which points to where it is, has been lost. 
and to this day, no one has found it. Abra the Great Magician is willing to give anything to anyone who can give him the book which has all the lost secrets of the magic of Magicland. And whoever has the compass rose in his possession can find the ancient book. Of course, but the compass rose itself is not enough. We also have to find the ball that will fly us high above the clearing in the forest and move in the directions that the compass rose shows us. Ronnie the guard will help you if you show him that you had the floating ball and the compass rose. When you have both items you need to find the book, we'll look for it together. Goodbye, Strawberry. succeeded in creating parts of an engine like none that have ever been seen in Magic Land. Hmm, that's interesting. I think that when the engine is built according to this model, it will be the fastest ever made. But, hmm, the parts, they have to be assembled. This is the train station. What a huge and beautiful train is standing there in the distance. I wonder what that professor is doing. He's concentrating so hard. That's the train designer. He built the wonderful train that you'll soon see from up close. I wanted to design a train too, and I took some parts away from him. Did he get angry? Of course he'd be angry, Strawberry. If those are parts of the train model he designed, they're very important to him. Hello, Strawberry. Today you haven't made me angry. I'm the happiest train designer in the world. I've just finished designing the parts of the model from which the fastest train in the world will be built. A marvel of train engineering! To tell you the truth, though, when you're around, I do get a little worried. I'm sure that you've stolen some part of the model. No, sir. All the parts are on the table. Oh, dear. I'm so worried. Now I'm not so sure that all the parts of the train model are here. If you build the train model according to the plan on the blackboard, he'll be sure that all the parts are there. This is a picture of the train model. This is a picture of the train model. Trying to put all the parts together yourself? Well, let's just see whether you have the talent to be a real designer magician. Great! This is fitting together perfectly. This is a picture of the train model. This is a picture of the train model. Great! This is fitting together perfectly. This is a picture of the train model. No, that doesn't belong there. This is a picture of the train model. Great! This is fitting together perfectly. Great! This is fitting together perfectly. Great! This is fitting together perfectly. A wonder. A real wonder. This is a picture of the train model. A wonder. A real wonder. 
a wonder, a real wonder. Strawberry, although I did get angry at you when you stole the parts from here, I'm pleased now. It looks like you did learn something after all from playing with the parts I designed. Good for you. You can ride on my train anytime you want. Oh, this is great! I can ride the train now! some visitors. Strawberry, what are you doing here? I rode on the designer's wonderful train and arrived here. How are you? As usual, Strawberry, I make use of the secrets known only to me to give help to anyone who wants it. I'm ready to help anyone who needs my very special talents. If you need help, I can help you. I'm ready to help anyone who needs my very special talents. If you need help, I can help you. I can't now. Mm, I'm sleeping. String? Oh, that's not what I have to give now. Magic? That's not what I have to give now. The suspect is not here. I will open the identical picture in the magician's school. A coin. That's not what I have to give now. I'm just taking a walk. Goodbye. to be a waiter again. Wow! What big eaters these rabbits are! I don't need any help, Strawberry. I didn't get any orders today. Okay. Goodbye. money for me? A coin. Thank you very much. That will really be of help to me. Here, take a cherry. What do I think you will do with the cherry? Well, I have a contest to see which is sweeter. Oh.
the nerve of him! He's back here again trying to find out the secret of our recipe! Fresh here! I have a cherry and really would like you to coat it with your world-renowned sugar coating. Strawberry? Do you remember that we ordered strawberries from the vegetable vendor? We ordered strawberries from the vegetable vendor! And you hid inside the box! You hid inside the box! And then, when we poured the strawberries into the pot... Yeah, the pot! When you were inside, you gobbled everything up and didn't leave anything for anyone else! Not even a drop! If you do want to sugarcoat the cherry, we'll tell you the ingredients and you will prepare it yourself! Ronnie, be careful! Those two never reveal to anyone what they put in the pot in order to make the sugar coating. I don't believe them. They won't tell you. Listen to me. They will tell you what ingredient is needed, but not where it is. And they will even confuse you on purpose. Do the exact opposite of what they ask. Put the big jar of honey that is under the table into the pot. flowers. Powdered flowers. Honey. This is marvelous, Ronnie. We didn't let those two show-offs get the better of us! Put the small container of powdered flowers that is under the table into the pot. Put the small container of powdered flowers that is under the table into the pot. Put the small container of powdered flowers that is under the table into the pot. flowers. Well, brother, we're no match for him. He's discovered the secret. Put the big magic wand that is outside the cupboard into the pot. Put the big magic wand that is outside the cupboard into the pot. A magic wand. Well, brother, we're no match for him. He's discovered the secret. Put the sugar cube that is under the table into the pot. A sugar cube. Strawberry, you've discovered here the secret of the great magic that we have tried so hard to keep. Well, good for you. We're happy to know that you're not as stupid as we thought you were. Here, we'll gladly sugarcoat the cherry for you. You can come whenever you want and eat as much sugar coating as you want. It's really tasty, isn't it? Thank you and goodbye. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone of the secret. Strawberry, what is this? It's all so stupid that I don't know what to think. They say that I've discovered a secret. What do they think? That I have to appear on the cooking show or something? I have to present a magic trick at a party. Real magic. Ronnie, I hope that now you understand me. <laughs> oh, I almost choke laughing when I think of how you'll stand on the stage and tell the children how to make sugar coating. <laughs> That's it. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Keep the 
the magic you have learned until now? Yes, I do. Ronnie, are you sure you're leaving? Yes, I'm leaving, but I'll be back. See you later. back to Magic Land to exactly the same place in which you left, open the suitcase and choose the place using the arrows. I want to go back to Magic Land. I want to come back here. the magic you have learned until now? Yes, I do. Ronnie, are you sure you're leaving? Yes, I'm leaving, but I'll be back. See you later.